Consider we have two columns of data set. The first thing we need to load this data into Power Query Editor. Simply click on table, click on data. Here you can see from table slash range. Now our data is loaded in Power Query. Simply click on add column. We need to add custom column. And here I will apply a very simple formula. Open curly bracket, one, two dot, and simply type 30. Close curly bracket and hit OK. The next thing, click on expand icon and simply expand to new rows. Now you can see every country is repeated 30 times. The next thing we need to convert the first five row into a zero. I will click on custom column again. And we need to apply if condition here. Simply type if condition. And now double click on custom column. If this value is less than 6. So if the value is less than 6. Then I want a 0 result. Else I want. So I will specify the value columns. And this is a simple if condition. Simply hit OK. And this is how we insert 0, 0, 0 and the other value. 0, 0, 0 and the other values. Now I will simply select the last two columns, right click and remove other columns. Now I will click on file. Here you can see close and load. In this case, I want to load on the same sheet and I will click on F1 and simply hit OK. Now you can see all of our data sit on our sheet. The next thing I will click anywhere on this table, click on insert. Recommended chart, all chart, and now you can see radar chart. We need to select the fill radar chart and simply hit OK. I will click select data. In this case, I only want the values, so I will remove the serial number. Now simply hit OK. In this case, I want to remove the chart title, the grid line, legend, and now click on plus button again. Now I will select the category label, hit delete key, click on vertical x axis and hit delete key. And this is how we can create this amazing radial bar chart. The next tip I'm going to show you how to apply the data labels. The first thing I will click on D1 cell and we need to calculate the percentage. So I will simply write percent, hit enter. And here I will apply a very simple formula type equal. Select the current value. So in this case, I will click on C2. Divide by apply a sum function. Open parenthesis. In this case, I want to sum the entire column. Close parenthesis and hit enter. This is how we calculate the percentage of every value. I will convert this into a percentage. And I will increase the decimal point to let's say 2 point. The next thing I will write a data label. In this column, we need to develop a little bit longer formula. So I will click on E2 and simply click on formula bar. Simply type equal. First, I will write text join function. Open parenthesis. What is the delimiter? In this case, I will type character 10. Hit comma. For the ignore parameter, I will simply type true. Hit comma. And for the text one, in this case, I will select the country. So click on B2. Hit comma. For the text 2, we need to develop the text function. Open parenthesis. I will click on C2. Hit comma. And for the format, in this case, I want 0, 0.00. Quotation mark again, close parenthesis for this text function. Hit comma again. And now for the percentage, we need to apply another text function. Open parenthesis. Now click on D2. Hit comma. And for the format, in this case, I will type 0.00% quotation mark again, close parenthesis. And now close parenthesis for text join function, hit enter. And this is how we create our data label. Now, don't worry about the format currently. If I click on E2 and simply click on verb text, you can see each and everything nicely. Again, I will click on verb text. Now we need to display the data label on our green table. Now the green table is actually connected to a chart. And we need to display the data label on every 15 row. Since every country is repeated 30 times and 15 is the middle point. So I will click a data label here. And now I will apply a very easy XLOOKUP function. Click on I2, click on formula bar and simply type XLOOKUP function. 
what is the lookup value i will click on values column hit comma what is the lookup array i want to look up in the values hit comma and for the return array i will click on data label column hit comma if not found simply type quotation mark close parenthesis hit enter now x look up return the result for every values of course in this case i only want to display the result when the serial number is 15 so we need to apply if condition i will click on formula bar again after equal sign i will write if open parenthesis now click on serial number column if this value is equal to 15 hit comma then i want the result of xlookup function hit comma on the very end otherwise i want a null result close parenthesis hit enter and now you can see on every 15 row we have a nice data label now i will click on my chart plus button apply the data label and here you can see more data label options value from seal so i will select the entire data label columns hit ok and simply uncheck value and show leader line and this is how we nicely display our data label if i increase the width and height of this chart a little bit more everything will be clear i will click on format here you can see plot area we need to decrease the plot area from the top And now you can perfectly see the data label. Click on the data label, click on home, assign the dark blue color, hit Ctrl B to make it bold as well. Now, if you want to change the color of bar, click on format. Here you can see shape fill and simply assign whatever color you want. And if you want even a gradient color, click on shape fill. Here you can see gradient color, more gradient color, click fill and lines. Here you can see markers, expand this one, fill and now you can see gradient fill and choose whatever color combination you want.